Tell you about I'm young. No longer a raven. I should say, Tavian Young is no longer a raven for now. He could come back cheaper deal, something like that. You never know. Possibility, I believe. I, well, I believe he will. But if he doesn't, to each his own. But man, that uh, man, that came as a shocker. Like. I was, I was expecting him to get released, but, like, not today. You know what I'm saying? But, man, it just, whoo, just, just never know. But this is not going to be the end because this is about to, release party is about to get started. Like, I ain't made no video on it, but, like, the Bobby Wagner one of them in the raven. You know what I'm saying? Honey Badger, you already know one of them is a raven. And I know a lot of the center cap. Who the center cap. It's like what Tony Jefferson said in his tweet. It's like my fam say in Graven. The cap is the cap. Things can happen. Moves can be made. It's just, man, just like EDC going to do his thing. He's going to be very aggressive this year, I believe. In previous years, he's been pretty aggressive, if you really think about it. He's been making some player moves. Some people don't. They be like, man, really just think about it. He done did some things pretty, pretty good. I know they. some people are like, oh, he should have got DK instead of Hollywood and all that. And I understand y'all, but you have to think about it as well. Greg Roman could be holding a lot of these players back. David Cully holding a lot of our wide receivers back. This was our first year with T. Martin and Keith, and Keith Williams. And you see how it, the wide receiver game really like stepped up, you know. And it's only gonna get better. Lamar's throwing is gonna get better, better. That's why a lot of people are afraid of him, in my personal opinion. But the Tavon Young, man, it's just like man. <laughs> I don't know how much that saves. If someone tells me that in the can someone tell me that in the chat? I forgot how much money that saves. Cause I know Brandon Williams is coming. It's and then Alejandro Venezuela. He retired. Just I, I I literally just saw that. It's just like he he retired after seven years in the NFL, and I'm like, dude, you knew he was going to get cut. I don't think anybody was going to pick him up after what they saw, what he what he did with the Ravens. I oh, God. And playing at a left tackle position at that, couldn't even play right tackle. We all remember the Rams, I said Rams, the Raiders game. But, man, but he retired, so that should save some money. So, I think EDC going to, you know, shuffle some re contracts, you know what I'm saying? Put more money forward, more guaranteed money, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's, it's ways. People don't think about it. It's ways. It's going to make some moves. But, so y'all just tell me what y'all think about the table on Young. Yes, uh. I'm not like the dude. When he was healthy, the dude was good. But this year, you can see that step back. I think the injury is uncaught up where he's not as fast as he used to be because he, he used to shut down them slots, them slot wide receivers. He would shut them down. But with them injuries, mm -mm. man. 
But like they like they sent out, once a raven, always a raven. Thank you, Tavon Young, for everything you've done for the Ravens organization and outside the Ravens organization. The man never, ever got in trouble.